Yum, yum. Hi, I'm Daniel Smith, and welcome to another Dancers. Now, today, we're covering the Corner Pin 2D. So here I am. I have a default corner pin, and you can see the control panel right here. There is a 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, and the second tab is a from tab, and the from is from 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, if you think about this, 2 is where is the corner going to, and from is where is the corner originated. Now, it's very simple if we hook it up to our image and we take a look at it, we can see that the to and the from are in the default resolution. So there's a really quick tip to set this to the correct spot. And it's right here, it says set to input. If I click set to input, it will automatically set the from, where the corners are originating from, to the boundaries of the incoming image. Then we can switch back to the to side and we can select copy the from. And it is exactly pixel for pixel what it started as. Now we can go in and manipulate the different corners to position our new image, which allows us to easily skew, stretch, and distort our image to match perspective. So let's go ahead and connect this up to our image right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just grab two points at a time, which is another handy tip that you can do, is you can grab multiple points and drag them collectively. Or you can click on each corner and move them independently. And once each position is set, now we are good to go. And select the mask, which will trim it up. And we'll do a couple little finishing touches, such as put the reflections back on our screen by connecting it back to the original image, connecting the same mask, and switching this to screen mode and setting the desired reflection amount. And there we go. The corner pin simplified. Remember, it's all about where your image is coming from and where it's going to. That's all for today. I need to go check on some renders.